Hi there, this is Marissa for digitalscrapbook.com and today I am going to show you how to take a layout template that is in a square format and I am going to convert it to uh, maybe 8x10. Uh, this is a technique that you can use it'll or it'll be versatile. You can change it to whatever size you want if you are not working in that traditional square format. If you are interested in digital scrapbooking tutorials like these, please take a minute to like this video and to subscribe to my channel down below. That would be much appreciated. Thank you. All right, so I'm here on digitalscrapbook.com and I'm just going to come here. And what I want to find is a layout template. I can spell really great. All right, here we go. And so most of the time, most of the layout templates you'll find will be in this square format, uh, 12 by 12 usually, although you can obviously resize that easily down. Um, and so today though, we are going to talk about how to just easily convert it into uh, a rectangular format. Um, so I'm just kind of looking around here. Uh, some are obviously gonna be easier than others to convert. Um, and let's go ahead, this one looks kind of fun because this one's already honestly kind of rectangular. So it should be not too much of a challenge to convert. Um, you know, there'll be some customization in this process. It's not going to come out obviously looking exactly like it does here. Um, so let's go ahead. We've got this layout. Oh, I had some other already downloaded. We're going to open it up and we're just going to go ahead. Um, and first what I'm going to do is I'm going to say image, image size. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just convert it down to whatever the biggest of my dimensions is. So this is going to uh, keep it square. So I'm just going to pick the biggest one. So if I'm going to change this to 8 by 10, I'm just going to type in 10 here. And go ahead and say OK. All right, so now it's a little bit smaller. And then we are going to come up here and do canvas size. And let's change this to inches. And so I want my width to be eight. Um, and so then you can go ahead and you can hit OK at this point and that will be fine. Although I'm noticing that this layout is already centered a bit towards the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and have them crop it towards the right so that I can so I don't have to do quite so much moving. And so there you go. I mean, this is already looking pretty good. I'm just gonna get my move tool here and holding shift, I'm gonna click on a few of these layers and then I'm just gonna slide them over until they're in a good spot. Uh, this one, I don't quite like how this green one is touching. So I'm just going to slide it over here. I was making kind of an awkward space here. And there you go. That was pretty quick, pretty easy. That was uh, that layout was pretty well suited to being converted. Um, and I do want to mention there with the move tool, I have auto select on. So that was how I was able to just click on these and select. If you turn them off, it doesn't matter where you click. Um, so that's just a easy way to do that. All right, let's see if any of these, these are all, all these ones I have downloaded here. Let's check this one out. Okay, so this one's got a bit more going on. So again, I'm just going to do the image and I'm going to go down to 10 inches again. Um, okay, I don't have that font, but that is okay. Let's just go ahead and um, rasterize that. All right, so we're going to go down to 10 inches and then I'm going to do the canvas and I'm going to make the width eight and I'm just um, hmm. I think I'm going to do it towards the left this time. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to be able to see this stuff over here. Like this purple bar is going to go missing. Okay. So now we've got all these layers here and I'm just going to go ahead. Um, and because I have, again, my auto select on here with my move tool, I'm just going to, oops. Okay. We're going to lock this. The uh, bottom layer isn't locked, so I'm going to go ahead and lock that so it doesn't get in my way. And then I'm just going to drag this. Now I can move these around. And I want all this stuff in the middle here. I want to move this a little bit. I don't want that. Okay. So I'm just going to scoot this over. 
So, you know, this is obviously just whatever looks good to you. And then I'm just dragging my move tool here. And I'm going to get all this stuff to come over. And let's maybe slide this over a little bit. And then again, there was that, there's that purple bar, if you remember, that was on the right side. So I think it's this layer here that's missing. I'm just going to hold down uh, my control button and drag. Oh, there, it showed up again. I can bring that here. All right, that's looking pretty good. So that is just another example. Um, again, you know, you want to make things look how you want them to look. There's a lot of customization, obviously, with layout templates, but that is just how I would go about uh, changing something that is square into rectangular. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and take a quick minute to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and have a great day.